Adrian Mantu. Um, I'm uh, teaching uh, cello and chamber music at the um, Royal Irish Academy in Dublin, uh, where I'm also doing a PhD in uh, music performance. Um, I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, Bach music. Uh, Bach is our god, and here we have the Bible, which are the six cello suites. Um, they're just amazing pieces, and uh, it's a counterstorm for any cellist to reach. Um, I hope that you might be able to play at least some of his music, or at least to listen and enjoy it. Um, saying that, there's lots of debates about how to play Bach music, because it's beautiful, but also it's pretty difficult to do it. And the main reason is not a technical one. Of course, you have to practice, to play in tune, to have a nice sound, uh, but it's about authenticity. How close can you get to Bach era and to perform the music exactly how it was performed in Bach time? As you can see, I have a modern cello, and usually, with a modern cello, we use the spike and the end pin, and we have a modern bow. So, do we have to invest in a baroque cello, which look exactly like this? Or can we play Bach on this modern cello and getting as close as we can to the authenticity from Bach era? And I'll try to show you today that you can either play on a baroque cello but you can also play on a modern cello, getting more or less the same, the same sound quality like in Bach's time. In doing that, it's very simple. You have to get rid of the end pin. You either take it out and leave it on the side, or you put it inside the cello. And here you have the Baroque cello, and you have to keep it between our legs. So it will be closer to our body, to be really part of our body, and we feel like a whole, which is brilliant, because actually this is our voice, and we have to express ourselves. We also need to have a Baroque bow, and that's quite pretty easy to find one nowadays. On the internet, you can get a bow in less than a week, in five days, with even 30 euro. This is very cheap. This is a little, little bit better bow. I paid no more than 200 uh, euro compared with a modern bow, which starts at two, 3,000 euro. So it's very easy to have a go at the Baroque music. So here is the Baroque bow. There's one hint, though. This is how we keep the modern bow. And it's very important because there is lots of tension in here. And we get a really uh, powerful sound, like in playing the Vorjak Cello Concerto. So we really need this power, but not in the Baroque era. As you can see, the bow is curved. And the way they were keeping the bow was like this. So they never used the first quarter of the bow. They were also using gut strings. Nowadays, we use metal strings because we play in bigger halls. 2,000 seats, hall, venues, on stadiums even. So you have to make a bigger sound. So that's why we are using metal strings. But in the Baroque era, they were using gut strings. And this is where the sound has changed over the years. Because in order to produce a sound from a gut string, you are not able to get an attack of the note. So basically, you'll start the note very soft in pianissimo, and then stretch a little bit the note in the middle of the bow. So the sound will be like So each note, or even a chord, it will take longer to respond. Saying that, in other words, more simple is that the music was played a little bit slower in order to give the performer the chance to get a sound out of the instrument. Because if you do like this, there is no sound coming in. So there is always this mellow attack of each string. And also, 
also bear in mind that the music in Bach time was performed in small rooms. Also, that's the name of chamber music for small ensembles, duo, trio, quartets, playing in small rooms, usually in front of royalties, kings, queens, and all the people from the court. And they were sitting next to them in front. So imagine the fantastic uh, vibrations they can hear from this Baroque cello in here, just sitting one feet apart from the musician. Mm. That's the Baroque, so we have to have in mind they used gut strings, a curved bow with no attack, no use of the first quarter of the bow. They never used vibrato. They used vibrato only to emphasize the most important notes in any piece. So... Sometimes on the longer notes to embellish them. So... Um, let's see now. How we can get a sound on the modern cello, having in mind all these Baroque techniques. Here is the modern cello, without the end pin, kept between my legs in this position. The modern bow, if you have a modern bow, you just keep the bow like this. It's very easy. But I would advise you to buy a Baroque bow. It's very cheap, anyone can afford that one, and give such fantastic results. We have to tune our instruments one semitone down. So in almost, in, instead of having an A, we'll tune to G sharp, so a semitone lower. This will give us a deeper sound. And we'll start our adventure into Bach music with his first cello suite, which, by the way, he started composing this suite almost 300 years ago, in 1717. And for a duration of six years, till 1723, he finished the whole cycle, six cello suites. So this is the minuet from his first cello suite in G major. Mm -hmm. 